Uh, another example using divide and conquer paradigm is the notion of uh, skyline points. Now, this is a slightly you know interesting example. Uh, it involves a few definitions, we have to go through them carefully. Uh, suppose, we have uh, some points in a two dimensional space as shown. Uh, we define a point P to dominate a point Q or we call a point P dominates a point Q, if the x and y coordinates of P are larger than that of Q. Right. So, as this example shows, uh, there is this point P uh, shown here and it will dominate several other points in this example. Right. Okay. Now, what are these uh, skyline points? These are simply the points that are not dominated by any other point in the uh, data set. Uh, these are also called as uh, maximal points. Uh, the reason this is called as skyline points is that if you connect these points by horizontal and vertical lines as shown in the picture, this resembles like a city skyline. So, therefore, we call it call them as skyline points. Where do you find them uh, useful? Well, you could imagine that uh, the x axis would correspond to maybe the cost of a ticket and the y axis would correspond to its uh, to, to let us say the arrival or departure of a flight. So, we are talking about flight tickets. So, the points on the skyline or the maximal points are somehow the best choices in some sense. Right? You have to pick one of those to say that uh, what you want in terms of cost and uh, arrival or departure is kind of balanced eventually. Right? Okay. All right. So, uh, our problem right now is uh, given a set of n points in a two dimensional space, find all the skyline points. Right, okay. We are using divide and conquer again to do this problem. So, we will go through a pictorial uh, uh, representation and a pictorial description of the algorithm as well. Uh, as usual with most divide and conquer things, the first thing we could do is uh, see what happens when we divide the points into two equal sized sets. So, let us imagine that we take all the uh, x coordinates of these points, compute their median value and draw a vertical line at this uh, median x equal to median of these x values. That line will have half the points to the left of it and half the points to the right of it. So, we got two equal sided sets. As usual with divide and conquer, we will simply imagine that we will solve each part recursively. So, we get two skylines as shown in the picture, one corresponding to the left set of points and one corresponding to the right set of points. So, the big question now is how do I combine these two skylines to get my skyline for the overall point set. Well, notice that it is not very difficult. Some of the points in the left skyline are actually no longer skyline points once you bring in the skyline from the right side. The points on the skyline from the right side will actually dominate some of these points. So, we just have to remove these points from this uh, left half of the skyline and uh, stitch these two skylines together. In fact, as shown in this picture, you could actually drop a horizontal line from the topmost point in the right side to uh, the left skyline and uh, wherever it hits the skyline, all the points with a with a y coordinate below that point can be simply discarded from the overall solution. That is what this picture shows. In fact, uh, you will notice that uh, while this uh, algorithm was very straightforward when you use divide and conquer, there are some small improvements possible still. Uh, for example, as you notice in the previous picture, you are computing two skylines and actually discarding points from one of these skylines from the right skyline to the left skyline. But you could as well solve the right sub problem first you know when is a point in the left side of this uh, x median of x values end up as a skyline for the overall thing. It will be a skyline point only when its y value is more than the y, y coordinate value of the topmost point in the right skyline. So, we could as well delete all points that have a y value below the y coordinate of the topmost point in the right half of the skyline. So, we just uh, remove all these points from the left side and solve our skyline problem the divide and conquer approach or the left part of the sec or left sub problem only on the leftover points obtained by actually removing points with a y value below a certain threshold. Uh, as a picture that will uh, that will mean that uh, you are trying to remove certain points 
notice that uh, this is uh, this is only this is not uh, you know possible to improve the runtime uh, asymptotically simply because there may not be any points on the uh, below the threshold that we are talking about so we can uh, possibly hope for a few po few reduction in points but it's not achieved actually okay all right 